welcome to another up close video. Today's one is looking at tonic showcase number nine, which is called the fanciful floral frame. And I'm really glad that I've got um, the actual packaging to show you as well. So that I'll I think I've got five different um, examples that I've created with this die and stamp set. Um, but when you get your die set home, if you kind of forget what I've shown you or want some more ideas, there's also ideas on the packaging, which is really lovely as well. I don't always get the packaging, so it is nice to to know that you're going to get some um, inspiration. And there are 23 dies in the set. I haven't counted, but that's what it says on the packaging. And then you also get, as well as a few like cards for inspiration, you also get this little section here, which shows you how all of the different pieces can be configured together. I not sure I've even used any of them in the way that they're shown on here. Maybe one. I've possibly used one in, in the way that they're actually shown on here. But So there really are like tons of different uh, combinations of how you can mix and match them together or just use uh, the die once to cut one side of something or to cut it twice to get a sort of aperture shape in the middle. Loads and loads of different styles and um, sizes basically of the mats and layers that you can create with this fanciful floral frame um so it's a, it's a really lovely die set i really enjoyed it actually and i did um stick to a kind of blue and green color scheme for my cards but i think also um pinks and greens would look really lovely together even like whites and golds and make some wedding cards i think that would work really nicely for that as well so all of the showcase die sets come with their own popper wallet. So if you've ever had the A4 tonic uh, die storage um, folders, you know, with the zip that goes all the way around them, the orange ones, um, they usually come with three of these inside them, I think. But this is exactly how you're going to get these um, die sets to you. And the great thing is the double-sided magnetic sheet that you get inside this folder with your die set on um, it's double sided so the dies only fill up one side of it so you've also got another A4 side to store a load of other dies um, on if you want to as well or you could even uh, save space if you've bought multiple more um, showcases or maybe designers choice or kits you could actually use the back of this um, to store them on as well if you wanted to which is really lovely so um, all of the links for this showcase will be below the video and they are affiliate links so if you do use any of my links to purchase this or anything else off of the website I'll get a small percentage of um, however much you spend on the website but it's at no extra cost to you it just helps me out a little bit gives me a little bit of extra income but don't feel like you have to use my links or buy anything after watching this video um, obviously I only put them out there so that you've got some inspiration if you do get the die set then you know you've got a few ways of using it but if you don't get the die set it might spark something um, in your brain of like an idea that you could do with something that you already have as well so that's kind of like why I like to do these videos so hopefully it'll just um, you know spark an idea for a card or you know make you use something from your stash that you haven't used in a while so let's have a look at the actual die set on also this month I don't know if this is going to come in proper packaging or not but I got mine like this You're, there's also a stamp set and I presume it will come in together in the bundle and I guess this is about a um, A6 stamp set so like a 4x6 kind of size um, and it has loads of extra sentiments on which is really really useful whether you're using it with this or with any of the other designers choice kits anything else you have really um, there's some really lovely sentiments on here and I will go through them all as well but this month's um, showcase die set actually has tons of sentiments in here as well which are the debossing kind of sentiments and I've shown it in um, it might have been kit videos before that I've shown you um, how you can deboss the word into cardstock and then try and like color the cardstock so that the words stand out but the, the best way I found um, to do it is to cut it or deboss it into a piece of coloured cardstock and then use like a white gel pen to trace over the words. I mean in some cases it does look, I suppose it just makes it look more um, hand drawn or hand written as if you had actually done it yourself. So like here with the get well soon, it's not too bad and um, it's quite easy to trace them as well because the nib of your gel pen just stays within the little channels of the word but you might want to go slowly so that it doesn't jump out but that is my favourite way I think of using them although I haven't tried it in a long time the first die set I had that um, 
Tonic had done those like debossing words was those perfumery boxes from like at least two years ago um, and they had like little sentiments in them and they debossed in and I did actually get them to hot foil with a hot foiling machine um, you know like one of the ones that you run through your die cutting machine um, I haven't done it in a while just because I always seem to run out of time and I don't have the space on my desk to have my foiling machine out all the time um, but I think these are actually a deeper um, impression than some of the other ones so I think these would hot foil nicely as well so if you have um, the go press and foil or there's a Gemini one or the glimmer one from Spellbinders I think they would work with them um, so it's definitely worth giving it a try and seeing if you can get um, any good results with them as well and uh, you know you kind of get the problem of over foiling and stuff you could try and use the actual die that is supposed to cut them out to cut your piece of foil to begin with so that there's not so much foil around the edge or at least like use it and um, hold it hold the foil up against the die and use your scissors to cut around it I think it would work but don't don't quote me on that because I haven't done it in a long time and um, you know tonic may have changed their debossing dies um, since then, since I tried it, but I think it would work. So if you do have a hot foiling machine, definitely give that a go. Um, so let's actually look at the die set, considering I've been talking for like five minutes and we haven't even looked at it yet. So this is the, um, I'm going to keep forgetting what the name is, I usually write it in front of me, but I haven't done it this time. It's the Fanciful Floral Frames, and the idea behind the die set is there are five different versions of this kind of floral frame but it's only like a half frame so you can either use two of the same one together to get a symmetrical shape in the middle which is something like this kind of shape or you can use two different ones together um, and use like this sort of shape in the middle so you've got this sort of almost inverted corner and then the puffy kind of shape together within one piece and you can put that mat and layer in the middle but you don't have to just use them with the fancy kind of shapes that are within the die set. I do quite like this fancy shape but sometimes you don't want um, that sort of a look for your card if you're trying to go for a little bit more of a modern look you might want to just stick with like um, a circle or an oval or a square or something and you can actually adapt these to be used just with a basic shape that you might already have in your stash too so I think that's great about this one that you actually get the mats and layers that they've designed it to go with but you can adapt it to go with any kind of shape that you do have whether you can actually keep it in a whole piece and sort of hide um, this sort of area or whether you actually like snip into it and just use all the little pieces to sort of stick behind the edge of another shape that you've cut out um, I think it's just a nice uh, quite a nice versatile sort of set so um, what's going to be the best way to show you this I mean I have used all of them so on all of my samples you will see all of the designs cut out so this one I think they're mostly symmetrical actually oh no that one's not symmetrical okay I don't think they are symmetrical I think this one just has a kind of look of symmetry about it yeah the other ones aren't symmetrical but this one it's sort of got that flower in the center and then it's got like two or like little two little clusters of sort of an oak leaf kind of look and then these lovely ones at the end as well so this one is practically symmetrical I don't think it's a hundred percent identical but it's very similar on both sides um really gorgeous design and it has this sort of cloudy shape along it which can go with this actual uh, mat and layer and the way they've done it as well is is that the you see you've got the stitching or the dot the sorry the dot detail going next to this uh, fancy die cut detail this one when you layer it on top you still have the dots here and then you have the edge of the new cut shape with the dots as well which is quite nice you get that double kind of look and I really enjoyed tracing those little dotting holes with um, a gel pen whether it was like a white one or a silver one to kind of give that faux stitched sort of a look as well but if you don't have gel pens um, just a normal HB pencil works quite nicely as well for like tracing through those holes if you're looking for like um more of a masculine or maybe a vintage sort of a look with it that looks really good so uh that is the first one then let's go up to this one this one has the same inside shape as the first one 
and this one has kind of got um, some open leaf designs, a few solid leaf designs. I think these are maybe like buds or something for flowers and then these are kind of like a side view of a flower with leaves around it but you could turn this one just into foliage as well. I think these are supposed to be flowers but they could just be uh, greenery which is nice too. Um, then, they, so those are the two that match with that curly kind of shape, but they can also go on the top of this shape, which has part of that curly sort of uh, cloudy kind of shape within it as well. Then this one also coordinates with this curvy shape, but it has this banner within the design of it. So if you see here, it's like a curved banner with the two flag tails, and it's sort of got all of these flowers built in around it. And these are a gorgeous... Um, side view of a flower they're reminding me of one of the um insert creator die sets i'm sure this had or that had um like side view flowers like this and i'm sure i did a card where i'd colored them in gorgeous like uh, blue belly kind of colors um so these ones look really gorgeous with that gorgeous side view and those um petals would be nice and easy to paper piece as well if you wanted to so you could like die cut this out maybe back it with vellum or acetate or something um if you do if you wanted it to look like it was sort of floating on your card and then you could paper piece back in um the little flower elements but it also has this banner built into it which you also get the banner die which i think is really lovely that they have given you this extra banner die because a lot of the time um like with other sort of die sets that you get you might have like a banner built into a design but they don't give you the separate one so if you want to sort of 3d it up you have to like fussy cut around it and sometimes it doesn't look as great because stuff's overlapping it and you can't get the right kind of uh, shape cut out but they have actually given you the banner i think this is exactly the same size yeah so you can see part of that flower is actually covering where the banner would be so if you tried to cut it out yourself you would then have to cut the flower out to go on top of it to hide that um but as well as getting the outside edge you're also getting the interior detail as well so you can actually cut um, a skinny little frame which I'll show you on one of my cards too um, and then you get the fall away piece from the centre which you could then deboss any of the sentiments into but as well as having that small fall away piece from the centre you also have um, another die that coordinates perfectly with all the debossing sentiments that is actually slightly smaller than this one so it's not I mean it's a tiny bit bigger than that interior metal that you can see there but it would basically just um, layer on top absolutely perfectly or if you've cut this into the skinny little frame then you put that one inside and whatever you put behind it will show through as a tiny little edge around it which looks really lovely I think I left it like that on my card and I've done it with um, mirror card behind it which looks really nice so that is the banner die which it's built into this design but obviously you can use it with any of the other designs as well if you just feel like you want to add the sentiment on a banner it'll work really nicely for that too um, then the next shape that we've got is this kind of like inverted corner kind of a shape it's a little bit wiggly but it's more of like um you know like a cut off corner or almost an inverted corner um, and this one has a lovely floral right in the center and then if these are little buds then it's got kind of buds coming off it in different places but it's got quite a lot of foliage in this one as well which is really lovely so you could pair um, this one with this one because these buds match really nicely or you could pair this one with this one because the flowers match perfectly they really thought about the um, like mixing and matching the designs that you've got similar designs within there so they'll they'll go really nicely together basically um, and then this so this one has that sort of um, inverted corner which goes with half of this aperture or this uh, matte and layer so this one again like I said with this um, you'd get the dotted detail and then you'd have uh, the new layer with the dotted detail as well and you'd see both when you layer them up you'll get the same effect with this one as well and the reason why they've given you this um, matte and layer like this is so that you can mix and match like I just said uh, this one you can match the flowers and do those two on top of each other or you can go with the sort of buds and match the buds and um, put them on top of each other and then have the mat in the centre of it so it looks like the whole backing die from whatever two you mix and match it looks like it's a whole die together but you've actually got the choice in the future then to mix and match them which is really nice and then the final of the frames 
is this one which is really lovely again it's got the um, acorn kind of leaves within there and also some of these sort of leaves on the corner is uh, mimicking this kind of leaf over here and you also have some of those side view flowers on here as well so then that, that would go really nicely with this one too so they really do um, coordinate with each other they've not just given you multiple different designs with completely different flowers and images and foliage in them they've actually um, like cross pollinated them so that they'll all go together this one also has the dotting detail in it and you could combine this one with either of the two shapes but it is actually more in a square shape so what I was saying before about picking a shape from your stash um, you can easily then mat a square or a rectangle inside this one and on the packaging where I showed you the different um, ideas of how you could put the dies together they actually showed um, this one repeated up the other way to create a really nice long rectangle with the filigree edge all the way around it as well so definitely have a look at basic shapes either from other within other die sets you know when you get like one or two kind of rectangles or squares or circles within a die set um, either like mix and match them with that or if you just have basic nesting sets as well they should all mix and match really nicely mm. these ones because they've got this kind of um, scallopy curvy shape to them lend themselves nicely to a portion of a circle or also um, the edge of an oval as well goes really nicely with this and um, one of my cards I actually used this portion um, with a circle in front of it so I did actually cut it twice so that you could still have a little bit of extra foliage coming around the circle but it does work really nicely to go with a circle which is great um, then Finally we'll move on to the sentiments and there are quite a lot of sentiments within this set. A lot of them coordinate with that small curved shape that goes with the banner but doesn't have to be used with the banner. It looks really nice just by itself without the banner design. And then you also have three that go inside this dotted rectangle as well or you can just cut them out if you'd rather, you know, just snip around them into a rectangle. Um, let me try and read them all for you. Oh, this one says, I'd pick you, and it goes with one of the other sentiments that I will read in a second as well. Then we've got thanks a bunch and also sending love and hugs. I used these two on cards. I hadn't actually read what this one said, and I did wonder why one of these says, if friends if friends were flowers, and then it says, I'd pick you. So you can mix and match those two together, which is really nice. Um, and then you, the rest of the long kind of sentiments you get is have a blooming lovely day, happy birthday petal, I'm thinking of you, congratulations, you're the pick of the bunch, get well soon, I miss you and sorry. And um, these go in different directions as well. So these ones down here are all sort of curving this way. So the arch is sort of like an actual bridge. But these ones over here are curving the other way, which means they're giving you variations of whether you want to put this banner up that way or up that way. I mean, I suppose it depends um, if you have this one incorporated within your design, whether you've used it on the top or the bottom or both. Um, or if you want to add the banner over the top of any of the other ones, you can um, pick the orientation of it and which way you want the banner to bend, which is really nice. So that is the die set. And then as well as all of those gorgeous sentiments where you have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different uh, debossing sentiments, you also have this stamp set which has got a bunch of other sentiments in it. Let me get It's just a scrap of card just to show you. Um, it says, I'm so sorry. Have a wonderful day. Congratulations for everything you do. You did it. Good luck. Enjoy this special day. You deserve this. We're wishing you every success. I'm so proud of you. Happy birthday. You're the best. Thank you. Happy Mother's Day, which is always useful. Um, I hope you can forgive me. Um, it's late. You've got this. So you can see how they'll mix and match. So you've got, um, I'm so sorry. It's late. Or I'm so sorry. I hope you can forgive me. Or happy birthday. You're the best. I'm so proud of you. You're the best. Um, I'm so proud of you. We're wishing you every success. There's lots of mix and matchy kind of options. And I'm sure you can mix and match the debossing dies um, into that as well and then you also get some extra little shapes so this one would fit really nicely I'm not sure if it will definitely go on this I think it might do I think it'd be quite close to the cut line but I think you could get that stitched detail onto there or if not it will go absolutely perfectly straight onto the actual banner die 
and then you also have two little rectangles one with dots and one with the wonky stitches that would go inside um, this rectangle here or that would go around um, your debossed larger sentiments like this as well or even that little one would go around the sorry really nicely too so yeah you definitely can mix and match them because you can do sorry it's late uh, which is really good as well so um, oh, and you also have a tiny little uh, flourish and then you've got a little tiny four leaf flower or clover um, a heart and then also a little five pointed star as well so it's a really nice little addition this and I'm, I'm presuming it is included within the showcase which is really nice as well the fact that you're getting that little extra this month too so uh, now I've talked about them for like 20 minutes um, I will come back in one second and show you the samples that I've done so these first three here are my sped up video so you'll be able to see these um, hopefully tomorrow in my sped up video showing you how to make them and you can see here I've made this one into a shaker card as well so you, because you get that um, matte and layer kind of shape you can actually use that to cut an aperture um, in the middle and then line these pieces up either side of it to make it an aperture which is really nice as well and you can see how I have only actually used these in a half format as well and they work really nicely on your card too so if you like your smaller cards like I do and you don't want them to be too overly busy you can just use half the design and trim the bottom off yourself with a pair of scissors or a guillotine. Um, I thought I'd just explain the background first. I actually used this on all of my cards because um, I really loved how it turned out. So this is one of the cotton handmade papers. I've shown this technique before. Um, I think I did it at the end of a kit video and I think I did another video with it in as well. Um, but basically you take one of your cotton handmade papers and you use this as like a kind of stamp or a print making tool almost as if it's like a jelly plate or something. Um, and for this uh, version of this I decided to use uh, distress oxides so I took um, pine needles, broken china and chipped sapphire because that's what matched the colour of cardstock that I picked out of my scrap box and I literally just swiped them all over this piece of the cotton handmade paper you'll see this in the sped up video but I thought I'd just explain it in words um, and I just like swiped the ink pads over the whole thing and then took a spray bottle of water and sprayed it and then while it was still wet um, I just pressed the different pieces of card into it it, it didn't 100% come out as I was hoping they're not complete hearts they kind of look a little bit just more like polka dots but in some places the hearts are really evident in this one I think this was maybe the third one I pulled off of it in some places you really can see the heart in there as well and on a couple of the um, other cards that I just made just for fun afterwards you can see I used the actual uh, cotton handmade paper so these three were just taking a print off of it and then using the background uh, but the other two I've done I actually used part of the actual handmade paper that I'd coloured to do them as well so you're not wasting it obviously you could use this over and over again until you're fed up with this kind of technique or the pattern um, but you definitely can still use it probably not on the original side because the colour kind of bleeds through the fibres um, but on the back that you're adding the colour to you can actually use that um, on your cards as well which is really great so uh, let's look at this one first so this is the first edge that I showed you off of the die set um, and I've cut this out of a navy blue piece of card. I cut one and then I cut the other one without cutting the aperture in the middle. But I think it would be better if you cut the aperture in the middle so you could get the positioning a little bit more perfect because mine was slightly closer together at one end than it was at the other it doesn't particularly matter because then I also cut the silver one and that one was slightly off as well so I twisted it the other way around um, and so then it kind of um, pokes out quite nicely as a sort of shadow layer and with the mirror card it just sort of catches the light quite nicely um, and then this one here is another part of this so I, I had actually cut um, a green one of this as well and I wasn't sure how I was going to layer them up or use them on the card at the time but um, I ended up deciding to use half of it here to kind of poke out the frame and go over part of the shaker card and then I used the other part of it over here it just adds a little bit of extra interest and brings that kind of green colour in from the back of the card where I'd use that pine needles distress oxide um, and I think that just looks really lovely and then I've used um, 
some confetti in the background. These are the Bluebell hearts. I think these came out in the Blue Blossom colour trend. Um, I really love those hearts. Um, I did use vellum rather than acetate, so they're more muted. You can't see that iridescent shine from them. You just basically see the blue hearts, which is quite nice, actually, that you can use um, an iridescent confetti in two ways, whether it is actually showing as iridescent or whether you're hiding it behind vellum to make it just look like blue hearts, which is really lovely. Um, and then on this card I decided to just use the stamps for the sentiment so I uh, combined three together so it says congratulations you're the best I'm so proud of you I thought that was a really nice kind of up uplifting kind of a sentiment for a card so that's the first one and then these two are kind of a, a similar sort of concept but just using two of the different um, pieces so this one is the second one that I showed you on the die set um, with all of that sort of more foliage but I do think these ones could pass as flowers and these could be some kind of uh, flower bud as well so you could definitely paper piece um, and bring more floral colours into that as well but I do quite like that silhouette kind of feel to them as well I was planning on um, cutting them from white and colouring some of the different pieces in different like green tones and stuff however the uh, project that I was going to do that on I quite liked it in white so I left it um, but I do think that would look really lovely if you took your alcohol pens and coloured the different leaves and um, these floral kind of pieces in the different relevant colours as well I think that would look really nice and then um, because I wasn't sure what I was doing, I was just die cutting a load of bits and pieces. I cut it from navy blue from silver and then shadowed them. But I also cut it from the dark green as well. So I did a similar thing um, that I'd done on here. But this time I actually used the the little matte layer die to actually cut the edge of it as well. Rather than here where I poked it behind the die cut, here I actually used the die to cut that edge as well to layer it onto the little matte layer to go on here. And you can see underneath I've cut that as a straight edge and then hung the matte layer um, down below it. And I, I think that looks really nice. I do really like this shape, this sort of um, almost rounded rectangle with extra bits poking out of it sort of a shape. Um, I do really like that shape. Sometimes um, I don't quite like fancy shapes, it just doesn't quite look right, but I do think that's a really lovely, more of a modern fancy shape I'd say, um, and it does kind of remind me of a cloud as well, you could do some kind of like stylized cloud with it too. Um, and then for this one I've done the thanks a bunch sentiment, and I traced that with a white gel pen. This one's not perfect, it's a little bit, uh, kind of looks very hand drawn, but... I don't know, I do I do quite like it. It does look as if you've actually written the sentiment yourself, which is quite a nice touch to add on your cards. So that one says thanks a bunch. And then the third one from the video, uh, this one was the, the third print that I took off of, it might have been the fourth print actually, that I took off of the background. And because those uh, papers are handmade cotton papers, they have that kind of woven texture to them. So down here, it's actually picked up that woven texture as I pulled that ink off of it, uh, which I thought was really lovely. And it gives a lovely, like, distressed kind of a look as well. And I think if you did this in... Um, browns or greys or some kind of neutral tone um, I think this would look um, really nice as a sort of vintagey kind of design as well I think that would go really well so and I've also traced um, the sentiment on this one as well so it says you're the pick of the bunch which I thought was quite a nice one and this is the edger die that has the banner built into it so then I've just die cut the banner and put it over the top so this is the two banner dies together gives you that gorgeous skinny frame for the dark green and then I've just cut the outside one from a mirror card and backed it behind it so now you get that little gleam of mirror card when you move the card and um then I've used the smaller die to cut out uh, the dark blue card and then I deboss the sentiment into it as well. The actual sentiments, the metal um, is bigger than the interior of the actual uh, die that cuts that out. So you do have to like cut the die first and then deboss the sentiment into it. But that does actually give a better result because the metal for the debossing die is um, thinner than like the height of the cut edge of the die um, so you get a better debossed impression if you do them separately anyway so it's quite good that you have to actually do them separately um, and then this dark green piece here is the leftovers from this dark green piece 
so um, I thought that would make a nice little accent and again it makes it look a little bit different I know the packaging gives you the ideas of using two of them together to create a double-sided shape but don't just think you have to like completely line them up to get the um, aperture or um, mat and layer shape in the center you can just snip bits off and tuck them in different places to give a different look as well and this is that gorgeous um, side view flower which looks really lovely and I've just added a few nouveau drops in the center of that flower as well so I really like how that one turned out too halfway through the video I was like hmm I'm not sure if these are gonna turn out how I wanted them to but I'm really pleased with how they did turn out in the end so I do really love them and then the other two that I made I loved that colour scheme so much that I just went with that and this was an extra background that I had um, pulled off that cotton paper as I was making these but it had a funny line down it I don't know if her hair got caught on it or something um, but this has now covered it up so you'd never know that that weird line was under there and then also this square and this circle are the actual cotton handmade paper as well that I've just embellished in different ways so um, I feel like I've been neglecting my embossing powders recently so for this one I die cut it from the uh, deep sort of turquoise card that I've done these sentiments from actually so I die cut it from this turquoise card but then I covered it with uh, the clear mark sticky ink pad and I used the glimmering green embossing powder over the top so it's one of their gorgeous glittery embossing powders um, and I just heat embossed it over the top and doesn't that look amazing and it really strengthens um, these dainty little pieces of card as well and this is the other die that cuts more of like an actual square or half a rectangle sort of a shape um, and it goes really perfectly behind a square so this obviously was a square but I cut it off to go on the card um, but it works really nicely just matte and layering a square from your stash onto there and then on top of that I've used another square die to cut out some of the actual cotton handmade paper and then just to emphasise some of the hearts on there I've just drawn over a few of them with a white gel pen because I thought that would give um, sort of mimic the background basically that you've got the white areas so I just sort of uh, coloured over a few of the hearts to give that kind of a look then the sentiment is done in the same way as the others where I've debossed it and then traced over it with a white gel pen and then this glittery part behind here is again the embossing powder over the top but I thought I'd also say if you don't have um, glittery embossing powders or you just don't like um, embossing in general because it can be a little bit messy sometimes um, you could also cut it out of one of Tonic's glitter cards as well because um, even though this is like a proper glitter card that's fully packed with glitter it really does die cut really nicely even with fine detail dies like this so if you didn't have embossing powders you could get a similar result using uh, one of their glitter cards as well so I just thought I'd say that too but I really like how this one turned out as well it's really simple um, I could have added something extra here I mean if you were going to recreate it you could add um, some extra kind of heart design to go with the hearts that I've used but if you haven't used hearts on your card I think a lovely uh, flower like one of the 3D kind of flowers that you can make would look really lovely just there on the card as well so um, I think this is one that can be adapted for different occasions which is lovely and then finally I did a gift tag as well so I use, I want, really wanted to use one of these new tags that's come out recently from Tonic um, it is the luxury layering luggage tag die set um, I didn't realise how big these were they're really large large tags this isn't even the biggest one there's one bigger than that as well I mean, look how big they are the biggest one is like seven inches tall so they're really decent sized tags so I thought I'd just mention what die set I'd use because I was I was really enjoying these and they've got that debossing detail in them as well so I thought it would go really nicely you see it's got like swirly flowery designs and the hole on this tag is actually a hexagon as well which is quite nice and it's got stitching around it too um, I also was using the same oxide inks and uh, stenciling on this as well just to give that uh, dark green card a little bit more interest just by using it was actually the pine needles over the top but obviously oxides look a little bit different on darker cardstock um, then this piece again in the centre is one of the pieces of the actual cotton handmade papers and I actually covered it with um, anti-static powder and then swiped my sticky ink pad over the top to try and just catch 
the uh, raised up areas so trying not to catch the heart and then I use that same embossing powder over the top as well it's obviously a little bit more patchy because I didn't want to press too hard with the ink pad because I didn't want it going down into the heart um, but it just gives a little bit of extra glitter to um, this kind of you know piece of cardstock or cotton paper that we've coloured but um, again if you didn't have embossing powder you could just as easily take a little bit of glimmer paste and uh, wipe that on or um, just put a little bit of glue on your finger dab it into a few different places um, and wipe it out a little bit so it's not really thick and then just sprinkle on some glitter as well and it would give a similar kind of effect as well and then also on this one I decided to use that confetti again because it works so well in the shaker card um, and I just stuck a few of them in the centre of the bigger hearts that are on the actual paper as well and then I did trace over a couple of the hearts on there too and then the main actual floral frame on this one is the, uh, was it the final one or the second to final one that I showed you, um, that had the sort of inverted corner sort of design. And the actual design goes from here to here and then I cut a second one and poked bits out from underneath so it went round the circle more. So you can actually extend them to go, you know, around whatever kind of shape you want them to go around, which I think is really nice. So... Um, I really enjoyed how these turned out and I hope you um, enjoyed the video as well. Maybe it gave you, um, as I said at the beginning, ideas of how you might use this die set if you have got it um, or if you do go and buy it. Um, or it might just spark an idea for something um, that you already have in your stash. Maybe you have lots of these um, cotton handmade papers. Maybe you've had like the one or two sheets of them that we get in craft kits and you've not used them yet and you wanted a way to use them. Um, maybe you are more into your inky kind of techniques and you don't really use that kind of paper on your projects but you can actually use them as a tool rather than um, a piece of paper as well and it would they work really lovely on the jelly plate as well so if you have a jelly plate they work really great on that too um yeah and I just I really enjoyed these um dies I think they're just really lovely and I think you can um really adapt the style of them as well obviously I've gone for uh, quite a modern kind of style with them but definitely if you don't have the inky background or you switch up the colours that you use you can definitely go for um, a vintage kind of feel or even a masculine feel or um, more of like a frilly kind of look as well I mean this one it, it kind of could be a frilly doily as well so there are really are loads of different ways of um, using these dies and I think they're a really lovely addition to your collection if you don't have many um, fancy edged matte and layer kind of dies because of the way that they go with what you're given in the die set but you can also adapt them to work with whatever solid shape you want them to work with as well so I really like that um, aspect to them so I hope you enjoyed this up close video looking at Tonic Showcase number 9 which is the fanciful floral frame die set um, and I, I, yeah, I really had a lot of fun with these so I hope you get it that you do too um, and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again in the next video. Bye! <laughs>